to start it off, guys, this is a get to know your streamer podcast, right? Last time we got to get to know Hype Sauce, and today, man, Galaxy Snipes, man. So to start off, you know, what's your full name, bro? You know, what do you go by? My full name is Grant Morton, like the Salt Company. People in my stream just call me Galaxy. My RL friends will call me Grant, but just G Money. That was my nickname, G Money. G Money, damn, my day. boys are hustling, huh? Hey, probably because you were like one of the only kids, bro, that were like 16, 17, 18, but like grinding like heavy. You were, you had a job and streaming, right? Yeah, back in high school, when I first started streaming, it was stream, school, football, and I worked part-time at like a grocery store. Okay. So I had a lot of my play but i still figured out how to like fit in a stream every night even if it was like for like an hour but i was on the grind dude i was hustling how many years ago like three four i think three because i remember fun fact about nate for everybody that doesn't know me and nate met back like three years ago when warzone was in its prime during covid and he was like one of the first people to ever gift me subs like crazy amount of subs and just show massive support and i remember you you said that you liked watching my streams because i kind of kept it clean oh, i was yeah. like funny and entertaining but i kept it clean and i still do try to keep it clean i like to have fun and joke around but i don't use all the crazy language that some other people do so i remember that that's like a memory i have in my head of you as was, you saying that it was clean and then also like the dirtiness, it was funny. You, you, uh, you're like the first person to ever get me with like a ligma joke. You know what I mean? You got, you, uh, do you remember yeah, what you got me with? Fitness. Oh I've my God, so he many, remembers. Bro. I've got you. I've gotten Nate with so many penis jokes. It, oh, it's so funny too. The fitness so one times. you got me, you got me heavy. I forgot what I got yeah. you on. What did I get you on? I don't. You didn't get me. You haven't got I think me. I got nah, you on you slaw get... bunnies. No, I think I got you on slaw okay. bunnies. I do remember. I don't know if you got me, but it was like it was one I never heard before. So like I knew you were doing it, but yeah. I went along with it because like I want to hear what happens. So I don't even know what this is. I mean, Damn. new one. Add it to my list, my, my little my little notepad. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So you're talking about? I need to. I didn't make a comeback. Then I got to try to get you one more time. You got to try to get me because I got you the fitness. He did. He and did. That was good. But see, the that thing is really that good. you got me with the fitness because like I thought you were talking you were, about like my my lifting or some shit. Yeah, because you know? you're really into lifting. So I was like, this is perfect. Let me get Nate with the fitness one real quick, <laughs> and it worked out. Hey, well, there you go, man. Perfect. He, Galaxy always has, like, the perfect setups, bro. Like, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen a like, couple of his, like, viral TikToks, but the guy's viral all over TikTok, man. And he's done Ligma. What, what like, name some of the ones that you've, you've posted. Dude. I've done Ligma, uh, Kenya, you know, the, the African country, Kenya. Yeah. Get somebody with that. That was really easy. Um, there's fitness, there's slaw bunnies like you do. That was a really good one. Sug on D's, Ligma. I mean, like I said, there's, I mean, there's so many that I know that I just can't think of off the top of my head, but... I probably got so many clips of me just getting other streamers and my friends with them. It's hilarious. Damn, dude. Well, it's uh, like a little common thing with my community too, bro. Everybody knows them. Yeah. Everybody knows when you play with Galaxy, you better be on your tippy toes because I'm coming for you. I feel like you put people onto that, bro. Like honestly, like dude, your community yeah. legit put a lot of people. E10, yeah, E10? that's one. E10, oh that's God. a good one. Dude, do hey, they all know the SoCon E10? Remember the SoCon yeah, E10? Like, exactly. Yeah, y'all use SoCon E10. That's broken. Okay, well, hey, uh, where are you from, bro? You know what I mean? I want to know. North Carolina, Greenville, North Carolina. Lived here my whole life. East Coast. Dude, I'm actually seeing a couple whole things life. like in the back. All right, well, I see the team wiped us. That's tight. You uh, like that? Football. Hey, Carolina's all about their football. Is that a football poster in the back or something like that? Yeah, it's ECU, East okay. Carolina University. It's a college, local college here. Okay. It's where my parents went to school. I'm going to go to school next year there. And uh, I just I just rep that school, man. Every sports team they have, I watch them, support them. And uh, yeah. ECU? It's a little local school. ECU, yep. ECU, ECU, baby. When did you start streaming, bro? Almost five years ago. And I started streaming because you know how you had your friend groups in high school? And there's always that one guy that's like usually the best gamer or always the best. You always like go through video games. And there's that one guy that seems to be always the best player, no matter what game it is. Yeah. Well, not a brag, but I was that guy. So my friends would always ask me to carry them. They'd always be like, yo, Grant, like hop on kind of thing. Always hit me up. And it got to the point where like on Fortnite, they were like, all right, we'd rather watch you play than play ourselves. So I started streaming on Twitch just for fun, just so my friends could watch. And I had like a group of four or five buddies that would watch me play. And I got affiliate in my first week. I wasn't even really trying to do it. I was just having fun with it. I was like, oh, cool. You can make money doing it. So I signed the agreement form and I got affiliate. And then a few of them would sauce me their prime subs because their parents would have uh, Amazon Prime. So they yeah. sauced me a prime and I got my first payout. And I felt like really good about it. So I took a little break and then Warzone came out, COVID hit. And that's when I really went full speed ahead and like streamed every day. So since Warzone and COVID, I've been consistently streaming and, and posting. So it's been a grind, but I've been doing it for almost five years.
Damn. So would you say that like, uh, you know, being in school and like, you know, having that competition, like everyone, everyone's playing games and all that. Like, is, is it the desire to want to be the best at that game, which it, like got you into streaming or what got you into streaming? You would say. Yeah, I'd say my friends influenced me into doing it. And then free time when COVID hit, like if COVID never hit, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now because of all the free time I had. And I enjoy video games, but I enjoy socializing and meet new people. And streaming's, you know, that streaming is the perfect mix of both. You can play video games, meet new people, and just have a good time. So that's what I like to do. And I'd say my friends really influenced me to stream and just to keep on streaming because they mm -hmm. liked watching it. Yeah. And then I made online friends like you and all yeah. the homies in the chat over time. So it worked out. Where did the name Galaxy Snipes come yeah. from? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Okay, okay. That's a good question. So uh, we had a clan, a uh, little group of friends, a little clan. Every kid, every group of friends had a clan, right? Yeah. And we had a clan, and our clan tag, our clan name was V Drip. All right. V Drip. You can. You can, you can, you know, the, you know, what I'm talking about. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. Vidra, a bunch of immature, like 16 year old kids. And I'm thinking like, dude, Vidra, what sounds good. And you're thinking of all these cool names, like Vidra killer, Vidra uh, sniper, Vidra this, that. Yeah. And then, and I came up with Vidra galaxy. And then the clan falls off over time. People kind of lose interest in gaming. And then I switched to call of duty. I'm like, bro, I like sniping a lot. Galaxy Snipes, perfect. Like keep the Galaxy part, change it to Galaxy Snipes. So that's what I did. That's how I got Galaxy Snipes. But originally was V Drip Galaxy. Day, back in the day. On Fortnite. I was I was a demon on on the nineties, bro. I could build nineties like crazy. Dude, that's crazy. I'm gonna start going to your chat and be like, yo, V Drip. That's what all my friends call me now. All my like IRL friends yeah. that knew me since I started. But yo, V Drip. Damn. When I walk in the hallways, because they knew I streamed and they thought it was pretty cool. So I walk in the hallways, they're like, yo, V Drip. I was like, yo, what's up? It's That's, pretty cool. Uh, dude, how does that feel like, you know, now like going into the hallways and seeing that like your hard work and the success that you've had via TikTok yeah. and all, it's, it's like getting appreciated, bro. Like you're walking down, the, you were the fucking man, bro. Like, you know? Yeah, that's how it was in high school because my senior year, I had like 200K on TikTok at the time, which was like pretty cool. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. And people knew that and they thought it was really cool. But I've actually met fans in public. Just not really, I won't really say fans, but people that have seen me before on TikTok. Yeah. And they're like, dude, you're the guy that did this such and such. I'm like, yeah, that's me. They're like, oh, what's up? It's pretty cool. So it's definitely like a humbling experience. It keeps you motivated, man. When you're like, dude, this person like recognized me that's crazy so it keeps yeah. you motivated so are you a full-time streamer now i know that you were juggling a job prior and everything but are you full-time streamer or do you plan on doing full-time so what i'm doing right now is i am doing college and streaming and right now i'm on summer break from college so right now only thing i'm doing is streaming i did have a job but i stopped working there last year because i was doing well enough streaming and i enjoyed it a lot so now i'm just doing streaming in college what do you think is like your favorite part about like streaming in general my community because if you think about it, your community reflects you and all the people that watch my stream, especially the ones that are like regular viewers that join in very often, they're kind of a reflection of me and they're very similar to me. They have the same sense of humor. They they like the same things. We talk about the same things. We just, we're just like the boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's hard to find people that are that similar to you, but once you do, they'll stick around. So I definitely say the community for sure. It's like a family. I like it a lot. So you've obviously been streaming for, you know, Four years now, you know, you like it, mm -hmm. it's built communities, it's helped change your life. Would you recommend streaming to somebody who, you know, might want to get started in it? I would say yes, but do it gradually. Don't just like full send into it. I would gradually ease into it, and especially with like your setup. A lot of people think they need the best setup to be able to stream. The setup that I have and the setup that you have, it took time to get. We didn't just get it instantly. We gradually upgraded from an Xbox to maybe an Xbox and a laptop then to a PC and then two PCs. That's what I did. A lot of people think that you have the nicest equipment. The truth of it is you don't. You look at all these big streamers like Kai, Speed, all these big streamers they don't have crazy setups they're just super entertaining you know what i'm saying yeah. and the fact that they don't have a good setup kind of makes it more funny because they can just do whatever they want and not worry about messing things up the whole growing aspect right now it's super difficult to just stream you can't just stream and expect to grow a community because that's just not going to happen you got to promote on social media and you got to be different you got to find a niche something that people aren't doing but that will get you views and that's the hardest part the hardest part about doing all this is trying to be different, unique, and just stay consistent with that because if you're doing the same thing other people are doing, there's going to always be something, somebody that's better than you at it. You got to do stuff differently. So it's like, hard, but it takes time and you can do it. I like what you said right there. You know, a, a big W that you said right there was being consistent, right? Mm -hmm. Now, now consistency in, in everything, man, if you do it in long enough and you try hard enough, then eventually the results, you know, happen there. What would you advise somebody as far as like, 
you know, practices and best practices to being consistent. Having a routine, I actually have on my phone, I have like a checklist of things that I do every single day. I can read some to you. Yeah. Post on social medias, post stream schedule and discord, set up stream info. So I do all these things when I first wake up, respond to comments, daily editing, edit TikTok videos, make a TikTok live promo video, stream, all these things that I do every single day. And I have a checklist on my phone just to remind me to do it and keep me motivated. Because sometimes you'll catch yourself sitting there like days and off scrolling on TikTok watching YouTube like dude I got stuff I gotta do I gotta put it down I gotta do it so that's what I do that's clutch you know having having a checklist man and ensuring that yeah. every day you complete that checklist so you know you ain't falling off